what we're going to do in this video is set up an order that's going to give us a stop loss and then at some point in the trade it's going to bring us to break even plus one one point into the money that way our commissions are covered and then uh, as it gets into the money it's going to readjust our stop and then eventually stop us out now I pre-recorded the trade but I'm going to show you how to set this up come over here to ATM strategy click on custom the first thing we want to determine is how many contracts we want to trade we want to trade one for this video and we're going to set the stop loss at four points so when we place the trade or excuse me four ticks ticks price value four ticks away so when we place the trade it's going to automatically create a stop loss for us. This is going to be three different orders of stop loss, an auto break even, and then a trail stop. So keep that in mind. These are three different orders that are going to be created in one routine. Then we're going to come over here and click our uh, strategy. It's going to be auto break even plus auto trail. Now here, we want to determine on the first one, how far in the money do we want it, the price to move before it moves our stop loss to auto break even so I'm going to say we want to get four points in the money because if you remember we set our stop loss at four points so once we're four points in the money we want this uh, auto break even to replace our original stop loss order and we want to bring it one uh, excuse me four ticks in the money four ticks in the money and we want to bring it into one tick in the money cover our commissions right and then, once this is met, how far in the money do we want to go before we're going to readjust our stop loss? And we're going to readjust it to three ticks. We want it to readjust to three ticks after it gets six ticks deep in the money. And frequency is going to be one. In other words, it's going to move for every tick the money moves in our favor. It's going to move our stop loss one tick. So it's just going to trail it tick for tick. And we're going to click OK. I'm going to turn on this pre-recorded video and show you how it works and we'll stop it, slow it down. That's why I pre-recorded it so I can stop it, slow it down and talk about things. Okay, so here I'm coming. I'm going to buy the market. And you notice we now have, remember, we had four ticks or one point. So we're at uh, 6956.25. I'm on the MNQ here. And we're one point behind or four ticks behind. By the way, this is a very bad strategy. Don't follow it. I'm pulling this out of these numbers out of the air. Matter of fact, this is a horrible strategy for MNQ. But I'm just doing this for the sake of the video. Okay. So we see our original first order, stop loss order, is four ticks behind. Now we will keep on going. Okay, now you see it moved up. Uh, we were at 16,956.25. It moved to 16,957.25, and that moved our stop loss to break even plus one tick. So now our commissions are covered. So let's keep on going. And now, when we get six more ticks into the money, it's going to take this stop loss and start trailing tick for tick. It's going to move it up. It's going to uh, set our stop loss three three ticks behind. Because right now we're still four ticks behind. Because we just that was just the second order. The third order is going to be our uh, our our auto trailing. So.
Hey, you see now, it moved up as far as it needed to move to get us, uh, it moved up to six ticks. It readjusted our trail stop to be three ticks behind, 57, 57.75. We'll keep on going. And there, we're taking out. And that's all there is to it. If this has helped you, how about leaving a like? Subscribe, leave a thumbs up. You have a good day.